Welcome to the assay show. This video will show you how to perform a kinetic apoptosis assay on the Saligo image cytometer using Caspase 37 detection reagent and suspension jerkat cells. Let me first take a moment and describe the assay principle. DEVD is a caspase 37 specific sequence that is coupled with a DNA dye molecule. This substrate can freely diffuse across the cell membrane in live cells. Once inside apoptotic cells, the caspase 37 protein recognizes and cleaves the DEVD sequence and releases the DNA probe. Once the probe enters the nucleus, it binds to the DNA producing a bright green fluorescent signal. After staining, the Saligo was used to acquire whole well bright field and caspase 37 green images. The Saligo software automatically analyzes the captured images and reports the total number of green caspase positive cells in the entire well. Captured bright field images were not analyzed but were used to monitor cell morphology. Today, I will show you a kinetic apoptosis assay that was performed using suspension jerkat cells that were treated with 3 micromolar storosporine. To achieve best accuracy of your cell plating, first measure the cell concentration by using a cellometer automated cell counter. Mix 20 microliters of cell sample and 20 microliters of tripan blue. Load 20 microliters of stained sample into the cellometer chamber slide and perform a cell count to acquire cell number, concentration, and viability of your sample. Based on the measured concentration of your cells, adjust the volume and per well, plate 20,000 cells with caspase 37 along with either 3 micromolar storosporine or vehicle control and a volume of 200 microliters. Centrifuge the plate to settle the cells to the bottom of the well. Allow the plate to incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes and image the plate to acquire time point zero. Subsequently image the plate at 2 hours, 6 hours, and 8 hours after drug treatment. The entire plate with whole well imaging is captured in 15 minutes. The analyzed results are displayed in a plate-based format showing a thumbnail picture and the number of apoptotic cells for each analyzed well. Let's take a closer look at a treated sample in well D9. By double-clicking on the well, the whole well image appears for review. We can zoom in to look at the cell morphology in the bright field image and examine the staining of caspase positive cells. By using the drop-down menu, we can quickly look at and compare samples captured at different time points. Direct cell counting of caspase-positive cells allows for the real-time monitoring of apoptotic events on a per-well basis. All the data can be exported to Excel as a CSV file in a plate-based layout. Each file that is exported to Excel contains the number of caspase-37-positive cells. Generated bar graphs show a time-dependent increase in the number of caspase 37 positive cells in the storosporine-treated samples. These and other assays are routinely performed on the Saligo. To learn more or schedule a free in-lab demonstration, call us or visit Nexalom.com.